All right. Welcome to Maslow's hierarchy. Here we're going to be looking at this uh, model that this guy made a long time ago. It's still very relevant to today. The way it works, it's about what we need. Okay, what are our basic needs, and as I got believe we want those needs to meet. What comes next after that? We're going to be using this to be able to base our decisions on our good decisions, referring back to what our basic needs are. So here's a quick overview. Uh, it starts at the bottom, physiological needs. These are the basic things that everybody needs. Breathing, food, water, shelter, clothing, sleep, that sort of thing. Okay? How are those things being met? If they are being met, great. They're no longer an issue. Okay? Then you're, you'll be moving on to the next level, which is the orange one here, safety and security. Okay? These are things to do with your health, employment, property, family, social stability. Okay? Um, do you feel safe and secure? Once you do, okay, then you can move on to here. And only then, you have to make sure that these are sorted first. And then you start looking at your loving belonging needs. Okay? Friends, your family, um, relationships with people, a sense of connection with communities. Okay? Do you feel like you belong somewhere, that you're accepted? Once you've sorted that out and sorted that, then you're moving on to self-esteem needs. Okay? Confidence, achievement, respect from others. Um, and doing things that um, give you that status and make you feel good. The last one, self-actualization, big word. It just means that you, that you feel like you're doing something with purpose in your life, that you're reaching your potential, you're doing what you feel is right. Your, your, what is it that drives you? Okay. So a quick overview there. Now, we're going to have a look at a couple of videos, okay, which might look at what this would look like in the home. In a different way, but first one's a bit of a bit of a funny one. Um, this is about a Viking. <laughs> right. So this is Maslow's hierarchy, an example that someone has put up on YouTube for us. Okay. Have you ever felt a need for friendship, confidence, or water? Then you've been on one of the many tiers in Maslow's hierarchy of needs. In 1943, Abraham Maslow created his hierarchy. This new psychological theory put forth that each individual must satisfy ever-increasing needs to climb to the top of the hierarchy and reach self-actualization. This is Grog. Grog is about to climb Maslow's hierarchy. To do this, he must start at the first level and work upwards. He must start at... Tier 1. Physiological Needs. At the bottom of the pyramid are the most basic physical needs. Individuals require things like warmth through the cold winter months. Everyone requires shelter to keep them safe from the elements. And then there are more intriguing needs that must be met. That a boy, Grog, whittle that stick. Tier 2 Safety needs. Individuals must feel they are safe. Safe financially, morally, and physically. Tier 3, Love and Belonging. The third tier is dedicated to love and belonging. Here, individuals look for a friend, some family, and sometimes that very special someone with which to spend the rest of their life. Tier 4, Esteem. Confidence, achievement, respect. These are some of the things one looks for while in the fourth tier. A good friend who understands can help an awful lot here. Tier 5, Self-Actualization. The self-actualized individual has climbed to the top of Maslow's hierarchy and reached a point in which they are comfortable intellectually, spiritually, morally, and creatively. Well done, Grog. Well done. Alright, so a bit of a laugh there. But it gives an example of what uh, some of the needs hierarchy might look like. Um, what it does kind of emphasize that it's linear progress. That is not always linear. You can be fulfilling 
any of these needs any time, and topping this one up and doing some stuff for this one, you're always looking after them. Okay, constantly having to fulfill each need to make sure you get to the top. So this other video is based on Sims. It's a bit more down to earth, but it gives some good real life examples of how someone might meet their needs. So that's the idea. Scott's meeting all his needs, so he's doing well and feeling happy. And the point we're going to be making here is that if you make decisions based on fulfilling these needs, then there's a good basis for justifying them and making informed and aware decisions. So what we're going to look at now is looking at how you, or how your needs are met and how you meet your needs at the different level. So it's a bit of a task now. All right, so you're going to make this on paper, do a bit of a drawing, a bit of writing, and then finally take a photo and upload it at the end. So you need to go and collect a bit of paper, pens, pencils, some colouring and stuff, and a ruler. Okay, one you and draw up a pyramid looking like this one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five levels. So pause the video and go and do that now. And then. Okay, so once you've done that, it's the next level. Okay, um, label each one, put the details in, class name and task, and put some colour and make it look pretty as well. I expect uh, your one to look better than what my one looks like. Okay. So pause the video and do that now. All right, so now as we go, start thinking. How? Uh, is this first need, the physiological need, being met in your life? Here's a couple of ideas. Okay, maybe with a cabin for shelter, dining hall for food. Your family will have some impact on this, how those needs are being met. I expect there'll be some different ones for you as well. So try and think, how do you get those things met? Remember those clothing came into here? How are those things being met? Pause the video, fill that in now. Okay, next level, safety and security. How are these needs being met for you? Nerves for health, community rules and regular timetable, 
They're designed to give people security, know what's coming up. Numbered clothing, so you know which is yours. How else is your safety and security being, uh, being met? Let's have a look at this here. Health, employment, your property, family, social stability, how are those things being met? We're going to include those in here. Pause it. Do that now. Okay, next level, love and belonging. So remember, this is about friendship, family, intimacy, sense of connection. So different communities you're involved in, cultural groups, girlfriend, sports group, friends, family, church. In what ways are you, your needs of belonging being met, your needs of love? Pause the video, fill that at section in. Okay, next one, self-esteem. Now this is where it starts getting really individual, really particular. Okay? We have a lot of similarities in the ones below, but what are your achievements? What are your strengths? Remember um, in that video, Scott talked about having uh, playing chess because he likes the feeling of winning. And he likes helping uh, helping his son um, with his homework because it makes him feel like he's needed. So, what are your strengths? What are your successes? What are the things that you do in your life that help give confidence, achieve, that you earn the respect of others? Things that make you you. Make yourself see what are they? Okay, pause the video, fill that in now. The top, self actualization. Now, what is it? How do you reach your potential? Now, you might have something in here about your project or what you feel like is your purpose. Like, what, what do you just really like to do? What motivates you? Could be talking about your creativity, being spontaneous, feeling accepted. What is it that you do to reach your potential? Okay, fill that one in now. Pause it. Alright, so once you're finished, you should have something that looks better than this one, including all the same information, similar information, personalized for you. So what you need to do now is get, grab your iPad, take a picture of this, okay? Make sure your iPad's up the correct way, because otherwise when you upload it, it might be flipped around. So take a picture of this and you need to put it onto your portfolio. This is how it's going to go. Okay. This one here. <clears throat> so under yellow tasks, it's a must do, you need to make a new page. You know how to do that. Um, called Who Should I Buy From, which is the name of the task. You need to embed the picture just like this. Okay. All done. Put your details and everything there, don't need anything else. Task finished. Well done. Any questions or feedback, email me or leave some comments at the bottom.